question. Have you ever looked at an old analog television and wondered why is the TV red, green, and blue and not red, blue, and yellow? Well, that's actually a question that we get very often at the Sarnoff Collection. Is why do TVs use a totally different set of colors than the primary colors that we're used to mixing in art class? If you ever look up close, you see those three bars of blue, green, and red. And I know that for me, I've always been wondering why those colors are the ones that are used. Well, my name is Shayla, and I'm a student worker at the Sarnoff Collection. We're located on TCNJ's campus in Ewing, New Jersey, and we're a vintage electronics museum. I'm here to explain to you today all about the differences between the two types of color and how that pertains to analog television. So when we're little, we usually learn that the three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And that's true when it comes to mixing pigments, but that's actually totally different when you're mixing colored light. For that, we practice additive light mixing, which is totally different from subtractive color mixing. I know, a little complex, but let me break it down really quick. Basically, there's an entire different set of colors that are used as primaries when you're mixing physical objects and materials and when you're mixing light material. So, when you think about it, of course we would use the colors that are used for light mixing when we're talking about an analog TV, which is just a box full of colored light, right? So, when you think about it, when you're mixing all of your primary colors from painting together, what do you get? Like a brown-black color, right? But when you mix all the colors of light together, you get white. And if you're wondering why, think back to what you learned in middle school or elementary school about the fact that when you're looking at a piece of paper and it's white, the entire spectrum is being reflected off of it and all of the colors are being percepted by your eye. And that's why you see white. As opposed to if you're looking at an apple, just red is reflected back to you. So when all the colors on the visible light spectrum are reflected back, you see white. And that's why when you put all of the colors of light together, you will see white. So if you're still wondering, okay, but why does additive color mixing with light use red, green, and blue, and not the other primaries? The difference is, in your eyes, we have cells called cones, and your cones pick up different wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum. Within the visible light spectrum, we can see three colors the best, but actually it is the three colors of light, blue, green, and red. Now if you're wondering, where does yellow come from? That's the kicker. Yellow is the mix of green and red, actually. So while it is a primary color that can't be mixed with pigment, it can be mixed with the color of light. So that is why we use red, green, and blue when we're using a TV set, is those three colors are the best for mixing all the colors that we can see in our cones. And it's totally different from mixing paint, pencils, or crayons. If you liked any of the information you just heard, or you want to learn more, you can go right here to our website, you can go right here to our Instagram, and my favorite, of course, you can come and visit us in person at the Sarnoff Collection in Ewing, New Jersey. We're open on Wednesdays from 1 to 5 and Sundays from 1 to 3. Have a good day!